Well, I, actually, I started as a, as a producer. I always had a passion for electronic music since I was like three years old, as far back as I can remember. Um, I just used to love electronic sounds. When I was 16, I got a record deal with RNS Records in Belgium. And I started producing my own material professionally. I started getting releases on RNS Records. And um, I started getting inquiries from like booking agents and from like nightclubs. Would I like to come and DJ there? And at the time, I was like, well, I can come and do a live PA, but I don't really DJ. I'm not really a DJ. I didn't consider myself a DJ. But I was buying all these records anyway, and I had my own material as well. And I just, I just loved the music in general. So I thought, well, hang on, I can do this, you know? So I just got into it, man. And I just, I remember the very first booking I did, man, I was terrified because I was like, hang on, normally I should be like playing keys, and like now I'm putting records on. But I did just grew, man. And that's like 10 years ago since I've been DJing, man. And I can't even remember that I wasn't a DJ, you know? It's like. I never really focused on, on the mainstream, you know. I mean, I started, when I started with RNS, it was considered extremely underground. No radio stations wanted to know about it. Definitely no TV stations. It was like, whoa, what is this crazy music? <laughs> and now, you know, a lot has changed. You know, the stuff we were doing then is like sounds, like, sounds almost commercial now. Because obviously it's progressed a lot and the underground has gone a lot deeper and the mainstream has gone huge. Obviously, that's why it's mainstream. And, um, like I say, the stuff that I do, I never really focus on, I'm going to do something on the ground, I'm going to do something like that. No, I just work, you know, and whatever comes out comes from here, comes from my heart, man. It's like, it's the way I feel. So whatever happens to the track, if I have a number one hit in the, in the United States of America, I don't care. That's fantastic, you know. Of course I want to make money as well, but I do it for the music, you know, and that's the genuine thing. And I think you can hear that in the music as well when it's not... You know, there's, there's a certain way of working formulas you can use. I don't formulate my music, you know, it just, it's just what I do at that, any particular moment in time. That's the result. There's a, a Luke Slater remix of uh, Forklift of Joey Beltram. Then there's uh, Speedy J, Panic, that, and I can't leave without that one. Then there's uh, a little tune I did myself called The Prophet, which is generally usually in the box. And, you know, there's just like, there's certain tunes that I've been playing for like 10 years and they will never leave the box. But generally, I refresh it every week. Oh, I've done, I done a few remixes in my time, man. Uh, the very first one I ever did was uh, Baby Ford. And um, since then, I've done bands like Prodigy, UB40, Tori Amos, stuff like that. And it's actually one of my favorite aspects of working in the studio is like remixing somebody else's music because you get a completely alien piece of music that you've never heard before. And it's like up to you to put your input into it and to see what you would do with their music. They have different ideas to me. They work in a different way. They're in a different frame of mind. And then I get this piece of music in my hands, and then I take over from there. And I really enjoy doing that. I really love doing that. But then all, apart from like remixes, there's also collaborations. I collaborated uh, for a long time with Cisco Ferreira from The Advent. Uh, we did a lot of stuff together on uh, RNS Records in the early days. I worked together with Dave Clark in the early days, uh, David Morley, uh, Liam Howler. I mean, just like endless amounts of people. So yeah, I love working together. I, I don't like being alone in the studio. I, I like collaborating with other people. When I'm driving in my car, I usually listen to classical music. Seriously, I just really enjoy relaxing to classical music in my car. I really love reggae music, Black Uhuru, stuff like that, Yellow Man, so I'm really into that. Um, I've got a passion, obviously, for electronic stuff as well, so, and I grew up with like an electro sound that was happening in, in, in the States in the late 80s and early 90s and um, also what was happening in Western Europe at the time was a very industrial electronic sound, bands like Front 242, The Neon Judgment, uh, Severed Heads, Logic System, all these kind of bands. And this is the kind of stuff I listen to, and actually one of the only styles I never listen to is techno. I'm CJ Bolland and you better be watching techno.